on a daily basis, I probably get called more offensive words than anyone of my age should really expect. Um. The, the, the threat of violence is just, it's really scary. And there's no reason why that needs to be there. There's no, if somebody's just dressing up as themselves, why do we need to treat them as a spectacle? Why do we need to behave like they're not a human being or like a, not another person? Uh, they told me that I would never transition, that I was just a butch lesbian and that I may as well be like dead. So it hurt that little bit more because it came from trans people, but it still hurt no matter who it would have come from. The fact that I'm trans and the fact that my past will eventually come up later down the line completely puts me off of dating. Do I live an authentic life or do I have children? Having taken testosterone, we're infertile really now. That was a very difficult decision to make at the age of 19. Anyone could be a bad person, it's just because we're trans doesn't make us that. It's like, there's not many people who would like to tell their family or friends that they're dating a trans woman because of the misconceptions that are already out there. But then if they just met me, they might realise that I'm actually an all right person and it's fine. How does it make you feel when someone tells you that you're a fan or a trend? It makes me feel hurt and kind of invalidated as if my entire identity is just something that I'm going to grow out of eventually rather than who I actually am as a person. You're, you're known as that trans guy, you're not known as anybody else but that trans guy. So when it's, when it's most hurtful to me is when people say that you're never going to be a real girl. Because obviously I know I am, I know I'm a girl. We just want to be allowed to live our lives the same as everyone else. Go to the loo, go to the supermarket and just, you know, not be asked questions on the street or anything. We just want to exist just want to be safe, we just want to be ourselves and not have to think really hard about like going bowling. Keep having, keep surrounding you with people that um, support networks. Yeah, yeah, that, that reinforce the fact that they should see you as, as who you are. I would tell my five-year-old self to keep on going on and that you're going to get there one day. We are just as flawed, creative, quirky, motivated, sporty, awkward, loving, unique, emotional, valid, real, as everybody else. This is the new face of trans and the new generation. Let's just let them be who they want to be.